In the late 16th and early 17th century of feudal Japan, the great warrior samurai class was struggling to maintain its once proud identity. Japan was at peace for roughly 100 years and was experiencing political stability throughout the land. Lord Asano Naganoli was chosen by the shogun Tokugawa Tsunayoshi to be one of the many daimyo invited to Edo to entertain the imperial family's envoys. Assigned to assist Lord Asano was the shogun's highest ranking master of protocol, Kila Yoshinaka. He was instructed to educate the lord on matters of proper court etiquette. The two had many disagreements and disliked each other immensely. Kila expected a monetary show of appreciation for his troubles, while Asano believed this was his duty and was what was expected from his title. Kila didn't take kindly to such disrespect towards a superior, and continued to embarrass Asano at every possible moment. The two's dislike all came to a head when just before the ceremony was about to begin, Kila called Lord Asano a country boar with no manners. Unable to withstand the insults any longer, Lord Asano lunged at Kila with his sword, striking him in the face. Drawing a sword in the shogun's palace was a serious offense and attacking another man, specifically a superior, would earn you a one-way ticket to paradise. When questioned about his crimes, Lord Asano showed no remorse, saying he only regrets he did not kill Kila. The shogun handed down Lord Asano the honorable death sentence of Halakili, but also seized his 50,000 koku fee for Akko and Halima. When news got back to Asano's castle, his ex-retainers, now Ronin, exchanged heated debate but ultimately settled on Oishi Yoshio's suggestion to surrender the castle peacefully and focus on a plan for revenge. Understanding the code of loyalty between a lord and his vassals, Kila became extremely paranoid. He increased his personal guards and lived a life of self-imposed house arrest. Oishi and his men took menial jobs and adapted factitious characters of drunken ronin wasting their time in brothels. With all eyes on Oishi, he divorced his wife, frequented red light districts, and was often found in drunken brawls with the lowest of men. Their goal was to wait for Kila and his men to let their guard down and strike when Kila accepted their saddened lives as reality. This was ultimately the outcome and after two years had passed on December 14, 1702, a cold snowy night in Edo, Oishi and his men decided tonight's the night like Betty Wright. Oishi and his men attacked Kila's mansion, taking everyone off guard. After a long fought battle, Kila was found cowering in an outhouse. Oishi gave him the opportunity to commit seppuku, but apparently his reply did not come fast enough. As a result, Oishi gracefully decapitated Kila with the same sword that Lord Asano scarred him with just two years prior. The men took Kila's bloody head, wrapped it in loincloth, placed it in a bucket, and marched to Sengakuji, where their Lord Asano's shrine had been erected. They first washed the bloody head of Kila at the temple's well, and then presented the head to their Lord's shrine. After their offering was completed, the 46 remaining ronin, turned themselves in and were prepared to commit Halakili for their crimes. On March 20, 1703, just three months after the attack on Kila's mansion, the 46 ronin followed through with their final duty and opened their bellies. Their bodies were later cremated and buried at Sengakuji alongside their lord, Asano Naganoli.